Hi everyone, I'm back this week with another art video and this week we're going to talk about scrolls like that. And I brought a couple artists to show you how they use them. This is a scroll by the Chinese artist Yunfei Ji who's alive now and it tells the story about the Three Gorges Dam migration. So in China they wanted to build the largest hydroelectric plant in the world and to do that they had to put a dam across the Yangtze River which is a famous river in China and when they did that the dam stopped the river and it flooded three major cities 140 towns and thousands of villages so over a million people had to move because their houses were now underwater and the scroll tells the story of that You can see all the people here with their luggage and their bags and baskets full of belongings and all the different details that he chose to include. Things that you would see around the village like bicycles and wheels and trees and even some mythical beasts he included. And the whole thing tells a story about these people and it's over 10 feet long. It's, it's longer than, it's as long as a car maybe. And here's a little bit of a video showing some of the details of the scroll and the artist talking about it. For me to build an image up, I'm kind of really have to heavily rely on all these believable details. And I pay attention to people, the way people kind of standing their body, how they kind of shifting their weights. And I'm trying to describing the belongings of the, these people. That's also their portrait, you know, what they have. It's a specific basket they might be having and the, the kind of a car, the kind of a transportation method, you know, what kind of pattern of clothes that they might be wearing. The color, the pattern kind of draws you in. It's not idealized. I want it to be more things as they are. This is a scroll I saw at the San Francisco MoMA by a local artist, David Park. He's not alive anymore, but he was a Bay Area artist, very famous in the 1950s. And he's actually related to some of our students here in Alameda. David Park used to draw a lot of abstract pictures or paint abstract pictures and they were big and just shapes and colors and lines and then one day he put them all in the truck and took them to the dump in Berkeley and threw them away and he said that they weren't as interesting anymore he thought that people would be more interesting so he started painting people and he did this scroll near the end of his life he was stuck in bed he was sick so his wife gave him some markers and a long, long piece of paper. And he drew his memories of when he was a child in Boston. What do you see here? There's a little dog, someone coming out of an apartment, people talking, people sitting and reading. What do you think that lady is thinking about? It's kind of interesting to wonder what's going on in here. And this is where the scroll was rolled up at the end. You can see there's a lot more pictures on that roll. This is just what they displayed. And this is, you can go see this at the San Francisco MoMA when it opens again. It's on exhibit right now. We also have a little video that shows you a little idea how the scroll goes together. So we looked at two artists that use scrolls to tell a story, to tell their own stories. And I'd like you to make a scroll and tell a story, whatever you want.
could be what you did this week or how your year has been or a story about something that happened. Anything you want. So all you need is some paper, something to color with, some tape and maybe some scissors. So I took a piece of paper and I just cut it in half and taped it together in the middle there to make a long skinny scroll. You can just tape together a whole bunch of big pieces of paper and make a really long scroll if you like. So what I'm working on is just a little scroll about my 2020 since March so far this year. We've got some camping, some masks, some time at the beach, a lot of time on Zoom and in front of the computer. And we have the wishing wall in here and a whole bunch of things. So I'm trying to tell a little story of my own. And I'd like you to tell me a story of your own with your scroll. And when you're done, you just roll it up around something to make it curly. Roll it up tight and make it curly. And then you've got a scroll. So I can't wait to see what you make.